Hello, welcome to this ATDI uh, online and video training session. Uh, today, uh, the scope of this presentation and demonstration will be uh, cartographic databases to be used in radio planning solutions. Obviously, high quality cartographic data is the key input uh, of radio planning tools. You can use the best radio planning tools such as ICS Telecom if you do not have the appropriate cartographic database, uh, whatever studies you are doing would be pretty much useless. So it is very important to make a, a clear assessment on the cartographic databases that are required uh, to proceed with excellent radio planning studies. ICS Telecom is ITDI's radio planning solution for civilian applications. Together with this, ICS Map Server is a convenient tool uh, that is provided together with ICS Telecom and ICS Map Server is ATDI's cartographic solution that allows uh, the generation, the extraction, the manipulation and enhancement of cartographic data in various formats. ICS Map Server so this convenience tool is a cartographic workshop in 2D uh, and 3D. One of the main issues uh, of the cartographic uh, data market is that we have to deal with uh, a huge number of formats. And in order to solve that for our customers, ICS Map Server allows uh, the conversion of any format of cartographic data into a format that can be used into ATDI solutions or other solutions. So over the years ICS Map Server has been developed uh, to guarantee interoperability with the main GIS tools. Now we are going to look at examples of cartographic databases that can be used uh, for radio planning studies. Uh, there is a wide range of offering depending on the requirements. Medium resolution data, we would say between 20 and 50 meter resolution, are probably the most appropriate specifications for wide area analysis or, and typically uh, broadcast network type of analysis. But of course, for some applications, and uh, let's say for instance, um, mobile network uh, applications, there are requirements for high resolution cartographic data in order to focus on problems in dense urban areas that require uh, not only a digital terrain model, a clutter layer, an image layer, but also building information. And building information is made available below 5 meter resolution and most likely 2 and 1 meter uh, resolution. ICS Map Server in terms of features allows the processing of image, whatever the source is, satellite, aerial picture, scanned maps and so on. It does allow the import, export, conversion in all formats available in the market. This means for customers that are considering acquiring ATDI's radio planning solution, ICS Telecom, that either they already have cartographic databases and therefore they pretty much have the guarantee that we will be able to convert the databases so that it can be used with ICS Telecom or um, ICS Map Server can be used uh, to extract medium resolution uh, cartographic database uh, from our servers. And of course, ATDI does propose a wide range of cartographic databases in terms of resolution and vintage that can be made available to customers for any region or specific area in the world. And also, Online World Well Builder, to be more specific on the extraction of cartographic data, is a module that is embedded into ICS Map Server that allows uh, customers to access ATDI servers that contain worldwide cartographic databases um, to be made available for use in ICS Telecom. That means digital terrain model worldwide, clutter layer, basically ground occupancy, and image layer maps or satellite images all over the world. The digital terrain model is extracted from the SRTM databases and uh, most of the satellite images uh, come from Landsat acquisition. 
several classes of clutter are provided, open, urban, water, vegetation, and this allows the extraction of cartographic data down to 20 meter resolution, considered as medium resolution, but it is good enough certainly for most applications, including broadcast applications, technologies, and wide area analysis. Now we are going to switch to some examples of cartographic databases. We are opening sessions of ICS Telecom, and this is a project loaded in ICS Telecom that consists of a high-resolution cartographic database, which is a one-meter resolution database as shown on this window. The goal of this study is basically to focus on a specific dense urban area. We are going now to flip through the various layers of the map. First, the digital terrain model. So here we are on a pretty flat area, but the digital terrain model is being highlighted here in colors and provides elevation in each point, every one meter in this case. Now we are going to switch to the image layer, which in this case is an aerial layer, picture taken from the air. We are going to switch now to the clutter layer, which provides ground occupancy in each point every one meter on this database. That basically provides the information whether it's building, forest, water, roads, airport, and so on. This layer is being used in the radio propagation calculation, taking into account different parameters and characteristics in terms of propagation, and diffraction, and reflection. And for high-resolution databases for dense urban areas, we have what we call a building layer, which is going to provide information in each point about the height of the building and the structure of the building in order to take into account 3D reflections. So this is a first example of cartographic database that can be provided by ATDI or used in ICS Telecom. Now another project uh, can be looked at which provides probably best-in-class uh, cartographic databases. Uh, now we are focusing on a specific dense urban area uh, in the Shinjuku district of Tokyo. And again, we have access to all the layers, digital terrain model, clutter layer or ground occupancy layer, providing the information in each point. The image layer, and in this case, uh, a high quality 3D image and also a building layer that provides the height of the building in each point. So again, here we have an access to an, a 3D image, a very accurate image for high quality radio planning analysis. Another option is in case of wide area network, and I'm opening here another project, to use medium resolution cartographic database. In this case, we're focusing on a broader area, on a 20 meter cartographic database. We can look at the digital terrain model, providing elevation in each point, in this case, every 20 meter. We can look uh, in color this digital elevation model to see uh, the mountains and the various ele elevations. But also in this case, an image, and in this case a map is provided, and I'm zooming in on this project, a topographic map. And finally, taken into account in the calculation, the clutter layer providing ground occupancy in each point with various classes, forest, urban area, open area, water, and so on. For medium resolution databases, which is certainly appropriate for wide area radio planning studies, uh, we do not have access to the building layer, which uh, of course doesn't make sense for such a resolution. Now we are going to focus on the extraction capabilities of ICS map server. As mentioned in the introduction 
in the few slides we covered, ICS Map Server does provide the capability to extract cartographic data from ATDI's servers, which is extremely convenient for customers that are considering the acquisition of ICS Telecom. This module is called Online Worldwide Builder. To extract cartographic data, it is extremely straightforward. You have ICS Map Server, which is a convenience tool provided with ICS Telecom. You have here a, 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 map, a map of the world, and you are going to define a project with a, a resolution, a projection system, and we are going to select what type of image layer we want to extract, either topographic map or satellite map. We define a destination directory. You have a login and password that provides you access to our servers. And then you are going to extract the cartographic data for the zone of interest that you have selected initially. So let's say in this example that we want to extract some map data uh, where uh, the square is, and now we are focusing on the Philippines. We can display the city names, and we are going to extract cartographic data around Manila. So we have selected a zone of interest. We have defined a project, a resolution, projection system, image type. We can access the server with a login and password, and now we can extract cartographic data. The process of extraction has already been completed uh, in order to shorten this presentation, and here is the result. We are around Manila, on the Philippines, and I opened the corresponding project. You have access to the digital terrain model at 50 meter resolution, here highlighted uh, in colors, providing elevation in each point. You also have access to the clutter layer, providing ground occupancy, forest, water, open vegetation, and so forth in each point. And you have access to the satellite image, which we selected uh, as part of the extraction process with ICS Map Server. So the goal of this presentation was basically to provide an overview of the various options that are provided uh, at ATDI in terms of cartographic data. You, we can acquire any type of high resolution um, cartographic data for you, specifically for dense urban areas, but we can have you start really quickly uh, with convenient uh, and easy to access solutions that are providing with a uh, ICS Telecom consisting of ICS Map Server, which allows you to manipulate your existing cartographic database or to extract cartographic data in medium resolution from our servers. We thank you for your attention and we hope we provided good information so that you understand better the various options in terms of cartographic data uh, at TDI.